This video is brought to you by the University Libraries Sanford Media Center. In this video, we are going to go over how to do basic video and audio editing inside of iMovie for short video projects. So first, you want to get all of your materials together, any videos that you shot on your cell phone, uh, uh, any audio that you recorded, any music, any pictures. Uh, I've got some stuff on the desktop here, uh, but I recommend you keep it organized. Just create a folder. Uh, let's title it whatever the project is. Uh, project for English 102, something like that. And just dump all of your stuff in that folder. Keeps everything nice and organized. You know where it is, and that is always a good thing. So we're going to open up iMovie, and the first thing we want to do is create a new library. And think of the word library here as project. Uh, they've just kind of changed some of their uh, wording. Um, so we're going to go new library. You want to make sure you put it somewhere where you can find it. And we'll just call this uh, in 102 since that's the name of my project. And so it creates this little project right over here on the left side. And you can rename that, of course, anytime you want, uh, just by double clicking right there and retyping. Uh, but then you also want to create a project uh, inside of your project. Uh, so we're just going to create a new movie. And we want to make sure it's inside of that library or project that we just created. We're going to click OK. And now you are pretty much ready to get started. Uh, you just want to make sure that you import your materials. I've got everything on the desktop, so it's super easy to find, and they're all in a folder. So I can literally just import that entire folder. Uh, that's why it's really good to keep everything to or together organized in a folder. Uh, let's see. We'll continue to import anyways. And we've got my video clip and uh, some, I believe, some voice and some music. Or actually, that's a sound effect. But yeah, once you have your audio files, your video files, pictures, uh, you just import all of that. Uh, and then you are ready to start creating your video. And it's literally as easy as drag and drop. You just drag stuff down in the order that you want it uh, and put your video together. One thing I will add is that if you're getting images for your video off of the internet, uh, when you're using Google Image Search, uh, I'm going to do dog, click on images. The trick with this is you want to click on tools and make sure your size is large. Because if you download uh, an image that is too small, iMovie will blow it up and make it large, and it will appear fuzzy. So the standard size for HD video is 1920 by 1080. So you want to click on an image you find that you like, and try and find something that is, you know, as close to 1920 by 1080 as possible. Uh, this one you'll see right here in the lower left corner is 1280 by 720. That is the lower bounds of HD video. Uh, so we could still use this, uh, and it would get blown up a little, but it won't be super fuzzy. Anything smaller than this size, 1280 by 720, is going to look a little fuzzy when, when it gets blown up for video. Uh, the other big mistake I see people make is that they'd save these little preview images by right-clicking and hitting Save Image. You want to actually make sure you click on the image and go to where that image is hosted, and get the actual image. That way you get the real full-sized image. And that is definitely what you want. So we've saved that image, and I'm going to try and find one that's too small so you can see what it looks like. See, that one's huge. That's plenty big enough. Uh, let's try and find a small one. So I'm going to go to small. We'll go medium just to see. Uh, it's still fairly big. This one's small. So I'm going to do what I told you not to do. And I'm going to right click and I'm going to save this preview image. And I'm just going to go ahead and call it small. 
so I don't get them confused. Okay, so we've got a couple images here. We're going to go ahead and import those. You can go file. You can drag and drop uh, from the desktop, but I'm going to click File, uh, Import Media, and those are on the desktop. So we'll grab that one. Import. Go back and do it again. Grab the other one. All right, so I've got my images off of Google inside of my iMovie project. Uh, so let's start putting this thing together. I've got a dog video here I just ripped off of YouTube. Uh, I won't go over how to do that. There's a lot of different ways, a lot of different apps on how to uh, rip video content off of YouTube. Um, a lot of different ways to do that. So I won't cover that here, but if you need assistance with that, uh, definitely reach out to us via email or phone. Uh, and we can walk you through that uh, pretty easily, hopefully. But basically, we just drag our video down, and it's good to go. And if you've got more video clips, you just drag them down, put them in the order that you want, and they're good to go. But what about some stuff in the video clip that you may not want? Uh, let's say you want to trim some of the fat off. Well, you can do that up here on the top by clicking on the video and grabbing these yellow handlebars and then just isolating the piece that you want. And then you just drag that piece down and you'll see it's a smaller chunk and I can put it wherever I want to. You can also do the same thing down here in the main timeline by just clicking the edges and dragging those. So that's kind of the two primary ways to trim off excess video that you don't want. Uh, you can also split a clip if you need to do that for better, you know, better cuts. You can just put the playhead, which is this vertical bar that's moving around here, click where you want it to be, and then on that line, right click and hit split clip. And that now turns it it split the clip and I can move stuff around any way that I want. It's just like putting a puzzle together, really. Uh, you just organize this stuff in the order that you want it to play, stretch it out, cut it, split it any way you want to get it to look the way that you want. And that's pretty much the foundation of any video project. Uh, you just lay out the video and it's good to go. Uh, as for pictures, you might want to insert some pictures somewhere. You can just do that by dragging and dropping. But you can also put a picture on top of a video clip. What that does is, you'll kind of see here as I'm slowly mousing over, it'll then play that picture over the video clip. So let's say you have an interview of a person talking. Well, it's not very interesting to look at a person talking for an extended amount of time. So that's why we have pictures on top of that, and that's commonly referred to as B-roll. Uh, so it's good to have pictures or other video clips that you can use as B-roll over or on top of uh, less visually interesting clips, uh, or to add emphasis. Uh, let's say this bottom clip here is a person talking about puppies. I might insert this picture above that while they're talking about maybe this specific breed of puppy or something like that. Uh, it just really helps sort of, uh, you know, make your video more visually interesting to the viewer. You'll also notice that this picture, it's moving. iMovie, by default, adds what is called the Ken Burns effect to all photos. So it's usually a slow zoom in or a slow zoom out. It's kind of random, but you can edit that by selecting that picture and going up here to this crop icon and clicking that and you'll see Ken Burns is on by default but if you click that you'll see it's not showing my picture there here we go you'll see that you have a start box and an end box so this is doing a slow zoom in because it starts wide and then ends up closer so it's a slow zoom in. Let's say you don't want to do that. You would rather have a pan from left to right. Well, you just edit those boxes, the start box and the end box. Make them the same size. 
and then just have one to the left side and the ending one to the right side. And I'm going to accept those changes by clicking the check mark. And now watch how this plays. You'll see that it did that nice slow pan from left to right. So you can edit that Ken Burns effect to do whatever you want. Uh, again, I'll just do one more quick change so you can see it. Click on that crop. Let's say the video is talking about how good dogs can smell. Well, we might want to start wide and zoom in on the dog's nose. So we'll just make our start box as wide as the actual picture. Got to adjust that size just a little bit. Looks like I'm off a tiny bit. There we go. So our start box is the whole image and our end box is up close to the nose. So let's accept that. Now watch how it plays. So that's how you can use photos to really add emphasis to whatever your video is about. Just a simple photo with the Ken Burns effect can really bring out whatever your video is about uh, and add to it a lot. So we've got our video clips, we've got our B-roll. Let's take a look at this image that was supposed to be really small. You'll notice here it zoomed in. That's not really a super good example. I thought I had grabbed one small enough. You can kind of see it. I'll select it here. But you can kind of see that this is fuzzy because it's blown up and it was a small picture originally. So you get some of this fuzzy, fuzzy pixelation. And that's really not what you want for an HD video. So let's look at this one, for example. So we've already got it down here. And there's a lot less pixelation. Of course, the background's out of focus, but that's because of the camera. But even as this zooms in, we're, we're not going to get as much pixelation as we did on this image. So again, that's the importance of making sure you grab large photos uh, to use in your video. So we've got our video laid out pretty much the way we want it. Everything looks like I expect. So what about adding music? Well, I've got a music file up here. You'll see this track down here at the bottom that has the little music symbol right over here in the bottom left. You just want to drag your music track, music track down there and let it go. There we go. Let's scroll to the end. Obviously, you don't want music playing way past the end of your video. So we're just going to grab the end of it and make it end at the same time as our video. And maybe we want a fade in or a fade out. That's super easy to do. You just grab this little gray sphere at the beginning and drag it over to the right and you'll have a fade in. Same with the end. You just grab the little gray sphere, drag it over, and you have a fade out. And you can play with that to get the desired effect that you want, uh, but that's really all there is to it. And let's say you've got sound effects. I believe this one's a dog barking. And just like a video, you can trim that. Let's just say all I want to do is get that bark. I might select just that piece and then add it wherever it is I want it. Okay, so you might have noticed another problem there. We have two sounds playing loudly over each other, so it's hard to hear one thing over the other. So one of the things you might want to do, let's say in your video you have a lot of talking, or even under your video, maybe you have somebody recorded a voiceover and has laid that up underneath video or up underneath pictures. Uh, you might want to do what's called auto-ducking. This is where whenever one audio file is playing, the other one automatically goes low. That way you can hear the important audio uh, over the music. So for example, let's say this is a video clip and uh, there's some audio here with it. Let's say that's some, some important dialogue. I'll select this clip, go up here to my 
speaker icon, that's my audio options, and you'll see this option here underneath that called lower volume of other clips. So since I have this video clip selected, if I click lower volume of other clips, you'll see that the music down here in the bottom left, when I click that, the music lowers. I'm just doing it a few times there so you can see the effect. And then now, when I play that clip, you will hear the audio from this clip, which is music actually, more than you hear the music from this music clip. Uh, but ideally, if you've got a video, it's usually someone talking. Uh, you would want to lower the music uh, while someone is talking. So you can do that by auto-ducking, or you can just grab the little bar on the audio section and lower it. You can do that with your music as well. You just grab the bar and lower that audio level a little bit. And you just do this with all of your audio until everything sounds the way that you want it to sound like. Until the voices are clear and dominant, uh, and any music you have is kind of, you know, subtle in the background, like it should be. Uh, or even turned off uh, in certain cases. But we've got our music, we've got sound effects, we've got our video laid out. So our video is pretty much done. But one of the things everybody likes to do is add maybe some basic effects or some titles. And iMovie makes this super easy. You just click on titles and you get a whole bunch of animated titles uh, that you can just kind of scroll over as an example. Uh, if you click on it and then slowly pan across it, it'll kind of show you what it does. Uh, so you want to pick one out that fits your needs. This is a pretty good title one. Uh, there's two ways to use these. By themselves, by just dragging and dropping by itself, or you can even put it on top of your video. I'll show you both of those. This one I'll do by itself. And once you select it, you just double click on it. And you know, make it whatever you want. Actually, dogs. There we go. And you can adjust the color. Let's make it red. Change the font size, the font, all the usual stuff, and just accept that. And there's our title. Let's play that real quick. That's all there is to it. But you can also do that on top of a video if you don't want it to be by itself. I'm going to grab a different one. And I'll drop it on top of this video so you can see what it does. We'll call that one Dogs Part 2, and I'll make it blue. And we just accept those changes. Close the color wheel, and here we go. And there the title plays on top of the video. So either way you want to do it uh, is fine. Uh, for credits, there's kind of your standard credit here. A lot of people like to slap that at the end. Uh, you just select it and, you know, come in here and change that to whatever you want. And then you've got a title sequence. And now that we have a title hanging over the end of our music, maybe we want to have that music play out to the in through the credits. So we just drag it out. That's really as easy as it gets. Drag and drop and stretch things out and good to go. So we've got all of that done. And what about transitions? You might want to use some transitions. Uh, I will say a word of caution here. Use these sparingly. If you do a transition between every single video clip, it gets kind of hokey. Uh, and it starts being kind of visually annoying. Uh, so kind of use those sparingly. Uh, fade to white might be good at the very beginning uh, or at the very end, but you just pick one you want and drop it between two clips and watch what it does. That was just a nice fade to white. And now that I've got a title sequence out here, I'm gonna stretch my music out, remove it. And stretch out the end again. There we go. So my video now has titles, credits, uh, one transition. Let's maybe do one more, one that looks kind of cool. Uh, 
let's see. That one's kind of neat. We'll drop that at the end here before the credits. Let's see how that looks. Oh, okay. Let's look at that one more time. And there you go. There you have it. What you need to do now is get your video out of iMovie where it will play on almost any device. You can click the share button in the upper right and hit file, or you can do the same in the top left and click file, share, file. And the default settings here are going to be fine. You've got 1080p, that's standard HD, that's fine. Uh, it's going to ask you where you want to put it. I'm going to put it inside my project folder just to keep everything organized. I'm going to title it. And hit save. And then we have a progress circle up here. We are not done yet until this circle fills up and turns blue. You can just watch it or you can click on it. It will usually give you an estimation. Yeah, one minute. Uh, the longer the video, the longer this takes. Uh, but once that's done, it'll turn blue here in just a second. And that's it. So I'm going to minimize iMovie here, and we're just going to go and take a look at that video. There it is. It's an MP4 file that should play on just about anything. And you're going to want to open it up and watch it to make sure it's what you expect. All right, that looks pretty good, so it is ready to be turned in. All right, well, if you have any questions, just reach out, give us a call or an email, and we will help you with whatever you've got. Thanks.